From Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the Euro dollar. And you can see that we've had a pretty negative session during the uh, Tuesday trading hours. Breaking to the 112 level, this is an area that has been important support more than once. The question now is how much longer can this go on? Because as I zoom out, you can see that we really are pounding on this area of support. So I think at this point in time, it's a no-go. But if we were to break down below the 111.50 level, that could open up the floodgates. And how important is the 112 level? Well, it's important everywhere. It's not just the euro. Gold got hammered today when this was going on. So I'm not a buyer until we break above this high here, making a higher high. I'm not a seller until below 111.5. That opens the door for... A potential move all the way down to uh, 110 so we'll see we're kind of in no man's land but when you hit an area this many times you have to think that cracks are starting to appear so over here in the British pound we initially rallied and then we broke down below 130 and then the um, bottom of the triangle at this point I think 128 is a likely target and then if you measure from from the height of the descending triangle, it measures for basically a move back down to this trend line. I don't know if we get there, but one thing I do know is that the pound can't seem to keep itself levitated. And, and why should it? There's a delay in the Brexit. That's the best news we've gotten so far. We still have a lot of messy uh, headline flow out there. So uh, a gentle grind lower. I'm not looking for any type of major meltdown. Thank you.